Good morning everyone and welcome back to the Welcome Grove Homestead. We are getting ready to do a little chicken running. Uh, not in the sense of wrangling chickens, which would be funny because we get little lassos and uh, some small horses, mini horses, and we get a little rodeo. Donkeys. Donkeys. <laughs> we can do this. We're going to make it happen. Stay tuned. Someday on Welcome Grove. Uh, no, today we're going to build a chicken run for our chickens. We have 10 laying hens, 8 laying hens, and 2 roosters that really need to get out of their coop and see some daylight. So we're going to give them a little opportunity to forage. Uh, right behind me we have of course our goat pen, our buck pen uh, with weathers in it. And, uh, and a couple actual bucklings, uh, which is exciting for them. Uh, but just adjacent, we're gonna move in some neighbors. We're gonna put a, a, a chicken run right here, leading right up to the end of, end of the chicken coop where there's already a door. And we're gonna get that knocked out using U-posts and some chicken wire. Uh, eventually, just simply because of uh, predator pressure, we're gonna put a, a netting, a poultry netting roof on it. Uh, but for now, we're just going to get started. We're going to knock some posts in, stretch some wire, and then you'll see what else we have planned for our day today. Ready? Yeah. Let's do this. So there you have the general layout. We haven't stretched it tight. We've kind of just got it held up right now uh, directly with uh, zip ties. One zip tie at the top of each of these posts. Uh, we just got a call from some friends who are moving all the way from California out here to Tennessee as well. Uh, their movers are actually gonna beat them by like an hour and a half. So we're gonna go over to Mike and Sue's house to uh, catch the movers and help them get into the house while they finish the drive with all their sheep and animals. So uh, this project's kind of getting put on hold and then we're gonna go and come back and uh, finish this Stretch up. Stretch the fence. What do we on here? Hi, honey. Hi. What you doing? I am hooking up a fence stretcher. Yay. Found uh, at Home Depot right next to the tile stretcher. The tile stretcher? Yeah, it's for doing tiles. When you have a uh, tile you cut too short, just next time you're at Home Depot, just ask them for uh, the tile stretcher section. Yeah, okay. They love that. Uh, now this is a fence stretcher, so we're going to use it to pull this uh, line tight, and uh, then we will uh, probably get the tractor and just kind of tug it. Uh, not too hard, because we don't want to rip it uh, away from the wall, but just enough so that we have some tension on it. Huh? I was say, this is chicken wire, so you don't want to pull it very hard. Right. Well, I'm super excited for my chickens. Yep. Well, we got a lot done today. Good job. Uh, we were interrupted by a couple different exciting projects. One you'll see very soon, uh, but this one is basically done. Uh, we are gonna add some poultry netting over the top at some point, and we are definitely going to be cutting a hole for the chicken to actually get into it from the coop, but I'm not sure that's gonna actually happen today. Probably not. With this storm coming in right now, it looks like it's gonna chase us inside, uh, and so that's pretty exciting. Uh, because we're gonna go watch some thunder and lightning from the safety of our house. Uh, my phone just did, set off a special weather alert, so let's not get caught outside in the storm. Life in Tennessee, right? Hey, look, it's a mom. It's a mom. Hi, mom. He said let's do this again. It's a mom. <laughs> um, what do you think? Look at that. Oh my gosh, they're gonna be so happy. I'm so happy, I'm so excited. With the weather coming, which I'm gonna have to turn this camera around so you can actually see what I'm seeing. Yeah. It's nuts, uh, but yeah. Now, have you already told them why this isn't like the Fort Knox of chicken runs? No. Okay. Go for it. So the reason that this chicken run is not like super ultra mega secure is because this is A, a temporary thing, but B, the coop is fairly predator proof. So what we're planning on doing is having a chicken door that we can open and close so they come out in the morning we let them out in the morning 
and when they go in at night, we shut the door behind them to keep the predators out. Because honestly, this is a, it's not a small run, but it's small-ish, and I would rather have the ability to move them around and things like that. But this is a great temporary solution so that they can still get out of the coop. Thunder is a rolling. <laughs> we should probably take cover before it starts dumping yep. on my camera. <laughs> and your face. And my face, but my face is Washies. a little bit, yeah, <laughs> that can get wet. The camera less so. <laughs> Well, the rain has officially begun. I do love a nice summer thunderstorm. I never really knew what those were like from California. We would just celebrate if it rained, period. But now we're sitting here after a beautiful, clear day, looking at this. Water bouncing off the pond. Every once in a while, a turtle pops his head up and goes, oh, no, it's wet out there, and goes back under. We are back today after the giant storm, which was just almost disappointing because we expected it to just thunder and storm for hours and hours, and it didn't, <laughs> but it was just long enough for us to not be able to be productive. Go figure. Uh, but we are back and we are gonna be finishing up this chicken coop, uh, chicken run. We are gonna cut them a door, we're gonna put a ramp in, and they are gonna get to have some sunshine in their whiskers, huh? Feathers. In their feathers, huh? Yeah. Let's do this. Behold the backlighting! Oh. You're pretty dark, but top. Uh, okay, so I don't know if you can see this. This is a board. Uh, they have at one point had a chicken door here. Uh, we are going to utilize this very spot. The point of all this is that door will be able to close, the chains will be able to come in, and uh, we will be able to keep predators out once the sky goes dark and the beasts start prowling. Night is a very dark time for me. Night is a very dark time for me too. Oh, look at that. That's pretty awesome. That's daylight. Look at that. Good job. Well, hello there. Let me just drop this chicken drawbridge and welcome you to the chicken mode. Wait. No, you see, some people have chicken moats. We have a chicken drawbridge. It's just not yet built. I'm going to work on that right now. It's going to be fantastic. Her name is Chicken Lot instead of Camel Lot because we don't have any camels. We're going to make this happen. All right, we are ready to reveal the drawbridge de la chicken here at Chicken Lot. Chicken Lot, is that what you called it? Rooster Lot? Camel Lot. All right, anyway, here we go. Drawbridge going down. <laughs> I just think that's spectacular. And then at night, amazing. come on in and I'll show you how the inside works. And now from the inside, when we are ready to put these chickies away at night, we simply pull the drawstring and the drawbridge arises. We take our little hooky thing here. We place it on the hook and lock them in. So easy a child could do it. In fact, I happen to have a child right here. Hello, child. Hey, child try that. <laughs> Demonstrate for us. Alright. Cock a doodle doo! Undo this. Put it's this fine. Because they cock a doodle doo all, right. all day, every day. And then. Nice. In case this comes undone, which it won't, we can hook that on there so it doesn't fall. Nice. How, how do you close it up at night? And then, just unhook that. Use it. With the growl. Must do it with yes. the growl. Alright, hook it on there and lock and that it that is how you cock a doodle do it. Nice. Well done. Should we let these chickens out? Oh my gosh, that would be fantastic. Let's let me do this. Uh, clear out my toys. Okay, clear out your toys.
We did it. Thank you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty happy with that. Turned out good. It uh, still needs its cover. Uh, we anticipate putting some kind of poultry net over the top, and that'll be uh, sometime the next week. Just give them a little more protection. However, I mean, what we got here is a uh, absolutely functional daytime chicken run, so. And, and it is narrow fun. enough that I doubt that aerial predators are gonna be an issue. Yeah, no, no self-respecting aerial predator would fly in there. But for the time being, this uh, chicken run is gonna work perfect, um, I'm sure. To make these chickens much, much happier. Yeah, thank you for joining us. This has been a, a multi-day, multi-weather experience. Yeah. It went from really cool to really hot to rainy to back to really hot. <laughs> and my shirt is very wet. But I had a lot of fun doing it. I'm glad it looks like it's going to be a functional uh, little respite for the chickens from the interior of the coop. Yes, uh, they really they need deserve. to get out. And it's going to be healthier eggs and just healthier chickens overall, which is really what we're going for. Yes, it really is. Yeah. Thank you for pitching in today, Audrey. Good job. Oh, thanks. You were quite a big help, young lady. Also. I recommend having children because they run to the house across the farm and get things. <laughs> uh, and if this one's here, I could call for another one from the house to bring me things. And when he brings the wrong thing, I can ask him to go back and get the right thing. It's really convenient. That's all I have to say. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions on how we did it or what we're doing uh, with it, uh, feel free to leave us a comment. Uh, of course, like and subscribe and keep us uh, going, doing these fun videos. As always, this is your country nerd with the chicken herd. And a goat herd. Sure. <laughs> and a kid herd also recommended. Yeah. Saying, Same. you, you can, can grow, grow where you're, you're planted. planted. I'm a chicken. Did you just stick your hand right in the chicken poop? <laughs> I built character.